Nityanandam, this is Mahanithi Sarvam Mangalananda, uh, bringing you Param Sahitya and Swamiji's blessings. Um, just wanted to share, share my thoughts about the morning satsang, where Swamiji said, your cognitions in the depth do matter. Um, and uh, just that one statement, uh, I was just thinking about it and I realized how much meaning this that one statement alone had. Um, and the one that came to mind is, See when usually when people are buying houses, you go see these model homes where the house is all neatly furnished, well decorated, some interior designer has you know done such a good job on it. So we look at it and then we make a decision on whether to buy it or not. But what does depth mean when you have to apply that? Um, so let's say we uh, I'll go back to this example. So when we buy a house, then we live in it for some time. Then slowly we have issues with the maintenance or something is working, not working, how long the foundation stands, it crumbles easily or not. So all these uh, underlying issues behind the scenes, so to speak, um, are the ones that if we had taken time to delve into the details of uh, the quality of workmanship, uh, we would have a better hand and make a decision, we would have made the right decision. Whereas if you just look at the look and the feel of the house as it is in its final stage and made a call about it, then we would have missed out on all this. So similarly, when somebody says the cognition is the depth, what you call what you, your deepest uh, part of the being, the depth uh, component of the cosmos, uh, what ideas we carry about anything in life, whether it's about wealth or health, whatever it is. So the that is the foundation of what we are going to experience in our lives because um, what we think is what we are going to manifest so unless the ideas at the deepest level of the, let's say the, our ideas about wealth and what all it entails so even at the deepest level we should have the right cognitions so we can manifest all the uh, right elements of the wealth that we want to experience in our life even a wrong um, even if a subtle wrong idea across the cognition, that when it, in the blueprint, it might be a very small thing, but when it manifests, it may be something else. Uh, and then uh, to think, oh God, I did not expect this. Why did this happen? It's not even my sphere of thinking. Uh, and now we have so many thoughts that come and trouble us at that time. But uh, so you see, the, this is my takeaway from this is one statement from you said. So the foundation cognitions that build up your thinking. It's very critical to look into it and reprogram it. If you have wrong ideas, to reprogram. But first, what are these foundational uh, cognitions that need that are the right ones? Those ideas that keep us always in a state of powerfulness are the ones that are most natural uh, to us and keep us in that uh, life of native high energy zone. Anything that is life negative, uh, it's like gravitation or something. So that means it pulls us down. It uh, brings us down. And what you see now happening with the video game deaths, with the blue whale challenges and all that, it is only creating those kind of cognitions, reinforcing it and programming those in you. So when that breaks to its uh, lowest point is where it's ending with suicide. So it may look very uh, simple or very small, but it has a lot of meaning, it has a lot of depth, it has a lot of reach. And... Um, it has a more far-reaching uh, effect in your life than one realizes. So, um, actually, Swamiji also said, uh, applying the Aushada uh, on your uh, navel center, because that is where our being is centered, the navel center, and re-dropping uh, all the wrong cognitions about uh, any aspect of whatever you want to change in yourself, and uh, reprogramming it with the right ideas. Well, um, is one way to... Uh, reprogramming, uh, remove the uh, negative cognitions or the uh, wrong manifestations and reprogram into what you want, really want to be. So, and uh, he actually said he would have a session uh, where we do this. So, normally when we do the completion, it's a five-step process or many steps are involved. But now with Aushada, it's much more simpler, easier, faster. And somebody is making it so easy that at every level, every new thing that he gives to us, he makes it more easier for us to do, more easier for us to get to what he's teaching us to do, experience 
that life that life that we want that um, that space we want to live in so he's teaching all these uh, sciences to us just for that so i hope all of you have watched the recent uh, aushada preparation um that's uh, some we had uh, yesterday evening and this is the second aushada and uh, this aushada was uh, going to create make uh, open up ishwaratva uh, dimension in us ishwaratva means being the lord of one's own life that is you get to decide what your life is going to be and how you are going to live it and make it so that is the qualities of ishwar so who doesn't want to have it is any i don't i don't think anybody in the world would say no to that who does not want to be the master of their lives the lord of their lives and design the life they want so i hope you all are enjoying the satsangs and learning new things and start applying them and somebody makes it so easy actually for us to do that and what he gives in programs has to be experienced for the quickest and fastest transformation so and i again encourage you to please do sign up for this weekend's workshop experience aushada only if you have the first experience only two day workshop and if you can spare just a few hours each day and have the best experience of your life you will know what it is you are missing only if you face something you will know what it is uh, what it is really like so you can make a decision informed decision about it so i suggest uh, all of you to please uh, do come attend this program wherever you are it is available uh, in many cities around the world so at the closest center you can attend um, and you will have a lot of uh, people to assist you if you need any assistance with signing up and finding out which is the closest center please drop me a line and i will help you thank you for listening jayanand